March 15th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Buckle up, kids. Third explosion and fire exacerbate the situation in Fukus Fukushima nuclear power plant. Japan admits their radioactive leaks and recognizes that there may be cracks in the reactor vessels. Denies the possibility of leak uncontrollably. The Japanese nuclear agency seeks help from an expert committee of the UN and US. The plant evacuated most of its workers to the risk of leakage. <clears throat> the alarm is growing around the Fukushima nuclear plant. Uh, was affected in four of its reactors by the earthquake that devastated the country er, um, on Friday. A fire has broken out in reactor four. While in two, there was an explosion at around six o'clock local. The Japanese government admits that there may have been a leak of radioactive material. Hmm. The situation has created great alarm in the country on television announcers constantly repeating the message that appear out of a B-movie about a nuclear t catastrophe. Close the windows, no ventilation, and use a clothesline at home. Meanwhile, the French embassy t in Tokyo has recommended... Hold on, the thing just updated. The French Embassy in Tokyo has recommended to its nationals living in the capital who do not go outside because of the wind blowing into the country could be dragged to where the radioactive particles. And uh, Twitter is a flitter with reports that all the major news um, companies are pulling their reporters and people away from this nuclear reactor. And of course I reported earlier today uh, the USS Ronald Reagan. Uh, rolled into a, a radioactive cloud. Um, they're saying it's not that bad. They got a month's worth of radiation in about an hour. And uh, no telling how many hours they were in this situation. So the entire West uh, 7th Fleet has been moved away from the area. And um, there's been a third explosion. And the number 4 reactor is on fire. Again, um, this situation is ongoing. Uh, moving over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. Um, geo Geophysicists worry the quake is not the last. Um, they're saying with all the major aftershocks going on right on that plate that it might still be slipping. Remember, 150 miles long, 50 miles wide opened up during this earthquake and the entire... Um, island of Japan moved towards the United States uh, between 8 and 12 feet are the different reports I've been getting. Um, another volcano, well, the volcano in southern Japan resumes eruptions. Um, Shinmidek erupts again and again this is two volcanoes they've got popping off continuously down there. I've been reporting on these two volcanoes for a few days now since the quake of course. Uh, and again, scientists warn Japan faces a second monster quake and tsunami. And they've got some more uh, footage on the, 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 the total destruction going on around the coastline of Japan. Um, that's about it on scott.net today. Uh, let's go over to the extinction protocol. Two more mud volcanoes erupt in Azerbaijan. Uh, I reported on one of the mud volcanoes yesterday. Um, the observer's series of activity of two more mud volcanoes in addition to the one uh, that erupted yesterday. The Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources of Azerbaijan reports of current grave activity of mud volcanoes um, I'm not going to kill the names. Located in Alat Township in the district of Baku. Uh, they both erupted yesterday. Um, continues erupting and the height of its fire has increased from yesterday's level of 30 centimeters up to 2 meters and that caused uh, natural anxiety of the population of nearby villages. 
uh, located at distance of six to seven hundred meters from the volcano so they're just down the street from one of these volcanoes popping off and um, they're having problems with these mud volcanoes flooding swamps southern Brazil ten dead thousands evacuated uh, Sao Paulo the rains have been almost non-stop so hard it is so too has been the flooding at least 10 people have been killed and over 21,000 evacuated in floods in the south of Brazil civil defense uh, officials reported torrential rain caused floods and landslides and destroyed roads in the state of Rio Grande do Sul Santa Carina and Parana Two people are missing. Overall, up to 60,000 residents of South American countries still have been affected by all these torrential rains and flooding. Uh, Japan quakes, tsunami meltdowns, power outages, volcano, and bird flu. Um, the avian bird flu has uh, taken hold in Japan. Um, da -da -da -da. And Authorities began culling about 35,000 birds at the farm yesterday and restricted movements of another 869,000 birds being raised within a 10 kilometer radius of the farm in question. So now you got to think about it. Their fishing fleet is gone. How much cropland did we watch get destroyed with those tsunamis? And now they can't even have the bird poultries for food. Um, they're already having food and water shortages in the Japanese area. Um, this situation is ongoing. The crisis just keeps compiling. So now they have uh, more problems with food. And uh, and uh, yeah, they're coming out with the H5N1 scare. Uh, Azerbaijan scientist links uh, Redondo Beach fish kill to Japanese quake. <sighs> oh, they're calling that that big sardine quake that happened in California. The, um, these scientists are saying that was caused from the earthquake. They're all trying to run away from um, whatever, and they, they ended up suffocating up against the walls. Uh, Japan showing more uh, showing signs of more obstructive plate pressure, and again, that's that story that Japan might be set up for another. Uh, major earthquake and they've got the Alcapoco fish story over to disaster alert network uh, power outage in North America a strong late winter storm has caused power outages for about 50,000 Pacific Power com uh, customers in the Northwest stretching um, Oregon Washington State and uh, Hailstorm in North America, a line of severe storm, thunderstorms moved through Northern California and Southern Oregon on Sunday afternoon, bringing damaging winds, hail, uh, we know the story. And it uh, looks like we have a chemical plant fire in, uh, emergency officials have reported, Bostic Chemical Plant in Middleton, after an explosion occurred, we're being told that four people have been transported to Beverly Hospital because of the blast. State Police re uh, released the following statement. Massachusetts State Police Trooper, a patrol unit, are assisting with an explosion at the chemical plant. Uh, manufacturers of plastics adhesives. And so uh, be careful of your air up there in New England. you got a major chemical fire. Um, they're saying there's no environmental or airborne con um, concerns for area residents. Mm -hmm. That is about it for today. Again, I cannot stress enough. That is three nuclear reactors that exploded. Okay, they're not definite meltdown, but they're saying there's definitely uh, radiation leaking now, and there is a core exposed. Uh, we've got a fourth reactor on fire. I've seen reports as as many as nine actor, uh, nine reactors across the country in three different sites um, that are in trouble, and the earthquakes continue. So uh, definitely keep your heads up, and until I see you again, enjoy it while you can.